Hi, I'm Creston, and in this video we're going to cover securing your cookies. So you have a couple of different options to secure your cookies uh, with your application. Uh, the first option is you can sign them. Now when you sign cookies, the contents can still be seen by the client, um, but it ensures that the contents have not been modified because they're signed. It verifies the signature. Another option is to encrypt and sign them. So with this method, uh, contents cannot be seen uh, and they're also verified. Another option is to use the secure cookie flag. So this ensures the cookie only travels over HTTPS. So it helps prevent uh, session hijacking. Now, in terms of, of framework, I tend to use Ruby on Rails. Uh, now, with regard to the cookies that are used to manage session state, this is how Ruby on Rails handles them. So, uh, since version 4, Ruby on Rails encrypts the cookies it uses for session management. Ruby on Rails uh, versions prior to version 4 only signed them, so you could see what the contents were within them, um, but it, it was verified to be signed. Now, there are different ways to flag your cookie as secure or not based upon the configuration. And this is something that's really important to pay attention to. Um, so I'm actually going to jump into an application to see how you can uh, make these setting changes. Now, again, I'm specifically talking about cookies you used to manage state. Uh, you can, of course, create your own cookies that are free and clear or sign cookies, etc. Uh, but I'm going to be focusing on the ones you use to manage session, session state for Rails. Okay, so I have a basic application here. It is actually running uh, on my local system, but I've set it to run in the production environment. Uh, so it is running as production. It's a Ruby on Rails app. I don't see any images or styling because I haven't pre-compiled assets, but, but the application itself still works. Because I'm going to be testing HTTPS, I am also using um, Nginx as a front end. Uh, and I, this is uh, Ubuntu. I'm on a Ubuntu 14.04 box. Um, Ubuntu is a host name that points to my uh, local system here. Now I can uh, do a refresh so I can access it over HTTP and HTTPS. So both of those work. Um, and so my Nginx configuration allows that. But I wanted to take a look at curl and the different headers so we can see how this is behaving right now. Okay, let's take a look at the headers using curl. So I'm going to request the headers and I'm going to be going to HTTP uh, Ubuntu. And you may need the K option if you're using a self-signed certificate. So when running this, I can clearly see the uh, test app session cookie here. Um, and you, you will not see a secure only. So this cookie is being passed over HTTP. So if I were to log in over HTTP or even over HTTPS and then I switch back to HTTP, this cookie would now be open and you'd be potentially vulnerable to a session hijacking attempt. Now just to see what this looks like over HTTPS, um, it's pretty much uh, the same. You have the cookie. Um, there is no secure flag, of course, but it looks pretty much the same. So now for a Rails app, the best thing you can do is to uh, go into your config directory under your environments and production, um, is to uncomment config.forceSSL equals true. So you set this, essentially setting this for your entire application so your entire application will run over HTTPS. And I'm going to uh, stop and, or should say, yes, stop and restart application to make those changes. And again, I have to do this because I'm running in production. And now let's see what it gives us. So if I go to HTTP, you can see I get a, a 301 move permanently. So it's redirecting, redirecting back to HTTPS. 
if I do HTTPS, um, now we can see the session cookie being sent and you can see the secure flag is automatically set uh, because for the entire application, everything is secure. So the session uh, cookie is, or this cookie for the sessions only going to be sent over HTTPS. Now, now there is another way to do this. So you may be familiar with using force SSL in a controller. So I'm doing this in the application controller. So force SSL will be applied to every controller and let's see what effect that has. Okay, so I, I did stop and start the application again. Now, if I go to HTTP, uh, again, I get the 301 move permanently, but if I do HTTPS, you'll see the secure cookie flag is now gone. So this only happened, the secure cookie flag only appeared when we set it in the production.rb file. So this applies to the entire application, whereas when you're setting it this way, you it can conditionally apply it. So it does not apply that secure cookie flag to your session cookies. So let's see what happens if we uh, do some conditional. So basically on the index action, allow HTTP is basically what I'm doing here. And everything else will be protected with SSL. So now when I do HTTP to look at the headers, um, I don't get a redirect anymore because this type of communication is allowed and you see the cookie. And when I do HTTPS, uh, again, I get the session cookie again. Um, so again, if you allow someone to log in um, and secure their username and password when they log in, but then redirect them to an HTTP and they're still using sessions, it's not going to be secure because, because you're leaving yourself open to a session hijacking because your cookies are being sent in the clear. So how do you get around this? So if you need to have some pages HTTP, some pages HTTPS, what you want to do is go into your session store and you can set secure cookies manually. So to the end of where you're configuring, configuring your session store, you put secure true. So now you're going to be using secure cookies for your session. So this means if your application accepts a mix of HTTP and HTTPS traffic, um, session cookies will only be sent over an HTTPS connection. So let's see what this looks like. So if I look at the uh, HTTP, I can see that the cookie is now gone. So cookies are no longer being sent over HTTP, you know, and this isn't a redirect. You're actually getting the page back, but no session cookies being sent. And if I look at HTTPS, now I get the session cookies and I get the flag that it's secure. So if you, again, if you have an application that needs to switch between HTTP and HTTPS, use this secure cookie flag true uh, for your session store. Now the consequence is that you cannot maintain session state if the user flips to HTTP. If you allow sessions to be maintained over HTTP, you're leaving yourself open to a session hijacking. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more, um, please feel free to subscribe on YouTube or subscribe for our newsletter at rubytreesoftware.com newsletter. Thanks.